Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP-1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I'm playing as the European Space Agency and starting in 1971 and in the previous episode I reached space for the first time and that allows us to select an administrator but we really don't have a European administrator available. So, um, well I mean there are Europeans but not people who are associated with the European Space Agency in particular. Uh, so I decided to lay off of selecting any of these people. They uh, give benefits just like civilization leaders kind of thing. I'm not interested in this sort of top-down approach anyway, and again, since there's no European leaders, I'll just set it aside. I did record this episode during a live stream, but in general I won't be doing this series during a live stream. It was only because I wanted to have people available to explain certain features to me that I decided a live stream would be a good idea so that I wasn't completely lost about the changes that have been made in the last four years in RP1. So that's why I'm doing it like this. So apologies for the live stream flow to the dialogue, if you will, to the way I'm talking. Uh, that will change later on. But we will go on with the original live stream audio because that will show what I'm thinking as I'm doing stuff. I guess I can use my confidence to do suborbital research. So normal will give us suborbital research for longer. Uh, we could just go quickly and use that confidence, I suppose. Okay. Okay, oh yeah, we have them down here. Okay. Well, that'll be good. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, where's my science? Configure experiments. None. 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 Barometer. Okay, barometer. Let's start with that. Okay, just barometer and thermometer. Um, where do we get the early film thingamajiggy? Early film camera thingy. That's too big. Hmm. We'll just go with barometer and th thermometer first. Okay, error B2. Okay, here we go again. Let's get those down there. Ah, uh, point. <sighs> Fine. Uh, no. Cover vessel. Normal recovery, I guess. Keep forgetting to do that ahead of time. Ah, oh, the error be failed. Oh, well, let's see how high we get and whether we can get some pressure and temperature data. Probably not very high, it looks like. Where's all that stuff? We could unlock some more sciences, though. We're constantly bombing the Space Center with uh, nitric acid, and I guess they changed it to this... ANFA, that's not what it used to be for this engine, but. Early rocketry. Basic rocketry. I mean, just logically speaking, we need these things, so. We probably want lighter tanks, so, okay. That leaves us with one, so that's it. All right. Okay, it lit this time. Ah, oh, it's got reduced performance or something. Um, it's got reduced thrust, but the same specific impulse. Stas failed. Well, it's not quite failed. It's just slower. Anyway, it's doing its thing. Something, somehow, not as much stuff is being fed through it. Now, it doesn't have a turbo pump. Tank leak. Maybe it's a tank leak. But anyway, we got to where we were expecting to get anyway, so it's okay. Uh, we didn't finish the pressure and temperature scan. Oh, oh. Die! Gosh darn it, probe core. 
Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna watch it. It's gonna take forever. 50 seconds of flight. We'll need avionics for that. Sounding rocket payload. We have no contracts active right now. I guess we should at least do this. Return safely though. Ew. Do we, where, when do we get parachutes? Do we have parachutes? Uh, bootstrap. Okay, we do have parachutes. Okay. Okay. Fine. Downrange distance. Oh, that... Oh. I have... Uh, in taking that contract, they all went away. That's sad. Why can't you let me do many contracts? I'm supposed to be able to take three. One contract at a time? That's evil. Can I sneak an inline parachute? We should probably just do the radial ones. Radial shoot has a very old UI. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. How heavy are you? 0.3 tons. Okay. 0.2 tons now. Well, well let's edit that. <laughs> let's not do too much. 0.2 tons. Now, the way we've been coming down, it's too harsh. Maybe this will be able to survive long enough to deploy the parachutes, but maybe not. The probe core will probably still survive. It's been doing that. So the question is whether the parachute's going to survive. Yes, we only have to go 140. We just have to make sure we only go 140. Oh, we have a problem. Why are you being so flickery? Ah, oh, the engine failed. Guess we'll try and recover it and everything. Ah, oh, it took out the Araby. Shucks. Well, maybe in the next one, the engine's not gonna quit on me. That's fine. We make the Arabies like sausages, it's okay. Here we go again. Ah. No, that's not gonna work. No, I should tweak those back up there a little bit too low. I mean, we can just tweak the Araby into the tank a little bit more. Whoops, come on. Oh, it's rolling too fast. I just want the engine to work. I, I don't think we need to worry about improving the recoverability right now. Early rocketry. Got some science. Let's let's get some more science going. That requires early material science. Fine. We've got that eight. Alright. That's three. We need 0.6 more. Ah, the air be failed again. Alright, we need a better upper stage engine thing.
Do we have better technology for you yet? It looks like we do. Is the AJ1027 really more reliable? Hmm. Max ignition chance, 98%. got some carryover data we can make this bigger it's got a max burn time it's got more thrust and it's got a max burn time of 52 seconds okay we, we're a little bit too heavy 1.999 9. okay so we could think about the booster engine. I sort of like the little Ver It's got a nice name, Veronique. Hmm. It's got 198 on the ground, 249 vacuum. It's about the right size. 249 vacuum is tough to beat these days. I don't actually think we have something that beats it. So we might as well keep it. Uh, the sea level isn't great though. But it's also not the worst. Okay, a tooling. That says tooled already. I guess we got to the same size. Okay. Here be four. We probably don't need the extra Delta V available in the stage, upper stage right now. We just need it to be more reliable. Okay. Our up. It's still failing though. Maybe it has something to do with the spin. Ignition penalty for Q. It was the dynamic pressure. Maybe we should wait a little bit. But that's surprising that it seems to suddenly have more of a problem with that compared to earlier rock, uh, earlier times when we launched with the ARB rocket. Doesn't say anything about high Q here. I don't know. I mean, but we'll wait a bit. We can do that. But uh, yeah, it doesn't give me any ability to see that ahead of time. Oh, okay. It didn't read my main throttle, but it read the me pressing X. Okay, it does agree that we have reached base. Nope, 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 okay. I don't need defense, it's fine. Ooh. Well, it's good enough for them. I don't think we need these Cerebees anymore. Low space biological experimentation. Altitude sounding rocket. Uh, we, we could probably do that for the space film return is bulky. 80 and then 140. Well, we'll go with 80 first. We don't need to return it. And we'll need a service module thing, I believe, for it, right? Sounding payload. 75 units. Still good enough. No problems. Just a little bit heavy. Okay, we just want to reduce it to the point where we're still tooled. Okay, we could probably underfuel as well. Okay, we're still tooled on both of those. 
Oh, that's that top one, the one with the um, sounding rocket payload. It should be... well, no, we never did a service module one tank. So, Alright. Uh, Arrow B5. Oh, I didn't mean to build three, but yeah, it's probably a good idea. Um, two of them were called Arab before, but we'll just leave that be, I guess. Post-war material science, and then basic rocketry we can get now. Biological sample, we'll probably need that. Sputnik, we definitely don't need Sputnik. Advanced Biological Capsule. Well, we'll wait on that. Okay, just 80 kilometers. Seems okay with the payload. We'll wait a bit this time. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, where's my rope core? Do what you can. Okay. Um, no, I mean, it was just uh, engine failure. This is why we built a bunch of them. It's getting a little bit late as far as timing is concerned, so I'm gonna... Apparently we can hire a bunch for free here. So, why don't we? Okay. All of you, to the mini pad. Why can't oh mini pad only has max of seventeen though shoot. Fine, uh, for now we'll just temporarily assign you to that pad. So yes, we'll hire some more researchers, but our research is going. No, well, I guess it's not that fast. Now we got 80 kilometers. And we'll see how high it can get. Doesn't say anything about stopping at 80 kilometers. So it can get up to 270. Okay. Got the space ones too. Temperature scan is going to take too long, though. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we did that. Let's get the other contract. Hey. Oh, I guess it's repeatable. I did that one already. Mm, I better know why I've done it. Oh, right when I let go. Um, why can't I recover it? We're not wiggling that much. I should be able to recover it. We're landed. I swear. I'm probably gonna regret this, but. <laughs> Whoop. Don't go too far down. Okay, fine. Come on, <laughs> Launch escape system. Totally. 
guess the Veronique's never gonna be particularly reliable. I mean, it was pretty good though. It's not that bad. 95% reliability. Okay. Only 260 this time. Well, we don't need to pay attention to it because there's no science to do or anything. Not, I mean, I know the science would happen in the background anyway, but it's nice to see it happen. We've done those. I don't know what the rules are. Let me, I mean, but I mean, I guess they don't matter. Film return, bio return, and bi advanced bio return. So, for the film return, we're going to develop our core. And this really will have to be able to control 18, uh, let's say 25 tons. And this needs 4,000 EC. Yeah, maybe even less, but it's fine. So, we'll need a decoupler. And then a parachute. Hopefully the film return capsule can take some heat. I think we'll just have the parachute on top like that. And hopefully that can take some heat too, I don't know. One ton. I mean, how heavy is that for the parachute? 0.77. I mean, it's not the case is 0.05 already. Well... With. 2.2 meters. How? It's 1.25 meters. There's nothing sticking out. What's the max burn time here? 70 seconds. Well, we're not heavy enough. Because the pad has a minimum of 18. This is wider. Okay, which part in particular Okay, it's the engine. It thinks the engine is 2.2 meters in diameter. Are you a good engine? Well, it doesn't say it's too wide, at least, but it is actually wider than the other one. Hmm. Burn time. 65 seconds. Now, what do we need specifically? I uh, see now I can't put boosters because it's not, it's gonna be too wide like that. Shoot. Maybe we can reconstruct it. Can we increase, how bad would it be to increase the width limit? I probably don't want to use the RD. I mean, cause I think we get better results with this engine. Because the RD100's burn time limit, I mean, of course, uh, eventually there's other upgrades for it, but... Anyway, uh, we need 3 meters just to be able to put the boosters on. Mm, the boost, it should be enough for the boosters, because the boosters are 0. 0.6 meters in diameter, if it reads right. And so two of them is 1.2, and this is 1.2, so it should fit within 3, if it reads right. I mean, I, I don't know what the cost is to bump it up to four, though. I mean, while we're at it, I suppose. It doesn't cost that much more. So I guess we can add some buffer to it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it costs much, so all right. So let, let's just uh, take a look at the situation with the RD100. So this is producing 3,520 with its max burn time, right? Later. And this one with its max burn time, which is 70 seconds, would produce less. 
Now, ultimately, it can be upgraded, right? So it will only produce 3,200. And as far as the upgrades are concerned, well, we can get this one already. That's 83 seconds. 248 second ISP. But 248 is the ISP of this. This. These have 248. The 220 sea level. 490 kilonewtons. This one is 383. But these are heavier anyway. Raid burn time 130. What's the max raid burn time on this as far as its variants? Does it have variants? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it gets a longer burn time too. And better. I mean, it's better to go with this actually. We should just use that one. I mean, I know this engine. We know it's got a lot of variants. And is super powerful. 65 seconds. But at this form factor, it's going to be very pencil-y. But we won't need boosters. Uh, maybe we should widen it, though. That is 65 seconds. Just a little bit too much. If I want four boosters, that might be too... A little bit too much. Let's lengthening this increase the dry mass. Probably. Make it look better, though. That's a lot of thrust weight ratio, though. That sounds like somebody took my EDB and turned it all wrong. Um, but we can call it Debbie. Okay, but we have to finish off with the pad. And then we have to tool things. But first, let's finish off with the pad. So that was the development of the core of my orbital rocket. That's my intention with that. And we're going to combine it with the Airb upper stage and the Veronique first stages. Those will be used as boosters. And we'll see if that works out. But for now, it'll be used for the film return camera as well as the downrange missions. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.